we will work here another uh, exercise from our online quiz, uh, Inland and Coastal Navigation, uh, quiz 9, question 6. And this is a demo of that problem. And it looks like it's a current problem. We want to find the set and drift of a current based on two known positions and two known times. Whenever you're dealing with the currents or trying to figure currents or work with currents on any level, how much you get set, whatever, then you have to work, you have to know the times of your positions. So here we are, um, and I'm doing this now. The students, you can do this with a, on your paper chart. It, I'm just illustrating it this way because it's a lot easier than getting up and rigging up the camera to look at the charts and so forth. So this is, but you, every, all, everybody has this program too, OpenCPN, makes it quick and easy. Um, so it's 9.15 and you depart New Dungeon S Sandspit Buoy R2. Here's a New Dungeon S and you see here's R2. So here's where we're starting and uh, so let's put, uh, let's just get this route tool and we'll click and we're gonna click obviously we're not right at the buoy but let's just let's just put the buoy there and then we're heading in course 90 towards uh, Dallas Bank and McCurdy Point okay there's Dallas Bank and McCurdy Point and it's 90 magnetic oh okay so look I've got true showing here and if it's 90 magnetic, so we've got to add 20 degrees. Throughout this chart, we use uh, 20 degrees. So 90 plus 20 would be 110. So we're sailing uh, 110 degrees. Um, let's just see where we're going here. 110. There's 111. Uh, now I don't know where we're going but I'm just going to put this course down here 100 and remember this trick here I want to if I want to draw that 110 accurately I want there's 108 so you see the number down here 108 109 and as soon as it turns to 110 the very minute it turns I want to stop see because if I keep going look it still reads 110 still reads 110 110 110 110, these are all fractions of a degree, 110.5 and so forth. So get up here at the lower numbers, then swing the arc down, 18, 19, and the minute it goes to 110, well, back a minute, 110, 110, stop, bang, period, escape key. All right, that's our route. Now, uh, what is it here? That's 915. 9.15, let me grab a piece of paper here. That was at 9.15. So we, if you want to, if on your real chart, you could go in here and say properties. And this was a 0915. And we'll put a mark and say OK. And then uh, that's where we're going. And we're going at six knots. Now, and uh, that's our route. Uh, 90 magnetic, correcting add east. So that's plus 20, that's 110. Okay, next. What's next? Uh, six knots. Oh, we're going six knots. And at 1045. Okay, so that's how long we've been going. 1045. So that's uh, one hour and 30 minutes. Right? One hour and 30 minutes. 915 to 1045. Yeah, one hour and 30 minutes. We're going six knots. So how far do we go? Six plus three, nine miles. So I could measure nine miles down here. I can do that uh, different ways. Um, well, let me just put another route on here to find out where this is. I'll click this, say yes, use that. Now come down to nine, eight, nine, uh, nine, right there, nine. Okay, escape. Okay, so this is my DR. This would be my uh, DR. DR at 1045. Okay, that's my DR at 10. Whoops. I gotta say, uh, when you do this, you have to say plot it. Hit see that, put the name. Okay. So that's 1045 DR. Now, what's the rest of the problem? At 1045, you. F ah, look. At 10, that's where my DR is. That's where I should be if, if everything's working the way I think it works. Now, it says at 1045. You find yourself close aboard the McCurdy Point buoy 
R. That's over here. That's over here. So here's where I ended up. In other words, I was my boat was pointed in this direction the whole time, but it looks like I was kind of set in this direction. So my actual fix, my actual fix at this time was was here. Was here, right? Right? 940 was here. So the current during this hour and a half, the current actually pushed me from here to here. Right? So that's what the current is. I can just put another vector from here, yes, to, you know, close aboard. Well, you know, what's that mean? That, for now, let's just put it right on it because I, you know, I'm not going to pass it so close I risk hitting it, but I don't know what that means. It certainly doesn't mean this, this, this. It just means for now you just put it there and then you know, prudence. So there is, that's the, what you could call that is that's how much I was set. So that's the, uh, that distance, what is that distance here? Um, that distance is 1.62, 1.62 miles, and then, but that's not uh, the current, but I was in that 1.5 hours, right? So I have to go get a calculator, 1.62 divided by 1.5 equals, so I get, um, I get something like 1.08, I don't know, 1.08 knots for the current, and then the set, the, I mean, that's the drift. The drift of the current is its speed, and I was, uh, I was in this current for a total of one and a half hours, and during that one and a half hours, I got pushed from here to here. And so that means that's, a one, that's at 1.62 divided by 1.5 hours is the current, so it's about 1.0. 1.1 or something current 1.08 now what's the and the, the that's the drift the set is just that direction and that is that direction is 80 080 080 May, uh, true true my reading here is actually coming out in true in this open CPN when you see that number there that 080 that without any M's or anything like that, then that's that's true. You can go check it, but that's what that means. All right, so that's the answer, and that's how you work that problem.